in C, there is an extremely strong relationship between arrays and pointers. In the next two and three sessions, we shall explore this very tight relationship between arrays and pointers. So let's say first, I declare an array A consisting of pi numbers. Okay, so this is how it will conceptually look in the main memory. Let us say this array A of 5 with these numbers is allocated the following addresses assuming integer occupies 4 bytes. So at address 1000, I have 99. At address 1004, I have 88. At address 1008, I have 77. And so on. So if I say A of 3, I am referring to 66. If I say address of A of 3, I am referring to 1012. If I am referring to address of A of 0, I am referring to 1000. Now what we shall try to do is, we shall declare another variable B with the initial value 10. So first when I go ahead and print this value in B, it is simply going to print 10. Now same thing I am trying to do with A. The only difference is A is an array. This fellow is a normal integer variable. So when I print A, what the compiler does is, it prints the address 1000. That means it prints the address of the 0th location. The implication of this is, the name of the array refers to the address of the 0th element. In this case happens to be 1000 or what your compiler decides to do when you actually run it. Now, there are a few things you need to very clearly know now. The first thing is, when I refer to simply A or address of A of 0, they are basically the one and the same. Now we all know that addresses and pointers mean the same thing. So the name of the array is the address of the zeroth element. What is the zeroth element? 99. So it is the address of 99 in the main memory. The difference between your normal pointer variables and your array is, array is a constant type of a pointer variable. Let me explain what I mean by that. The array A will always refer to address 1000. I can't take something like this. Let us say I have an declaration like this. Okay. I have int star pointer. That is a pointer to an integer type of data. And I have int A is equal to 10. All right. Now I can't take A and assign it the pointer because a is always going to ad reflect the address of the thousandth location let us say this fellow was pointing to the two thousandth location just an example okay two thousand is not a number here it is an address i can't take a the array address and assign it to a address thousand the difference is this is a pointer variable a is a pointer to a fixed location. In simple words, it is referring to a fixed address in main memory. In our example, A is referring to 1000. So you cannot go and try to make A point to 2000. So this should help you understand the close relationship between arrays and pointers at the first step. Now, in order to enhance your understanding, we'll take it a step further. Now, all of you have looked at this square bracket operator. It has got the highest precedence or the priority in the operator table. The first thing which may surprise you is this fellow is an operator. He is not some symbol. He is a normal operator. The reason we use this particular operator is to access a particular element in an array. So when I say A of 2, I am being able to access 77. So using this square operator, I am able to refer 77. Now, there is one rule which is fixed with this square bracket operator. It says that the square bracket operator must only be used with pointers or address type of data. Now it makes sense since A is a pointer or address. 
So that's why I'm using this square bracket with this particular A. I'll just repeat this square bracket is only used with pointers or address type of variables or constants. So that's why I'm using it with A. Now there is a deeper meaning with it. We'll discuss as we move around. Now let us say I have this particular program. All right. I have declared int A of 5. All right. Now I'm going to show how this square bracket is internally converted into something different by the compiler. Now first thing what I'm asking is I'm asking the user enter three numbers. Let's say the user enters 99, 88 and 77 as those three numbers. The remaining two positions I am not entering any number. Then what I am going to do here is here in scanf I have done something little differently. Generally I will say address of a of i to read into the zeroth location when i is zero. When i becomes one I am reading into the second location. Now this fellow address of a of i is for me and you to make the understanding easy. But internally the compiler converts it into a plus i. It's very simple to understand a plus i. What is a? a I told you is the address of the zeroth location 1000. i is the index 0. Now this is not a normal addition. This is a pointer arithmetic. If you're not familiar with pointer arithmetic, go and take back a look at the pointer arithmetic videos at the end of your pointer sessions. So a is 1000, i is 0. 1000 plus 0 is address 1000. At the address 1000, 99 is red. Then i is increased to 1. Now this is still fixed. 1000 plus 1, 1 into size of integer type of data. 1 into size of integer type of data is 4. So it is, this becomes 1004. So at address 1004, 88. I becomes 2. This is 1000 plus 2 into size of int on this machine, which is 4 bytes. 2 into 4 is 8. 1008 is 77. So this A plus I is equivalent to address of A plus, sorry, A of I, which is for me and you. Now, now this should be really simple. Now, generally I print the three numbers using A of I, but internally it is again first converted into A plus I. A plus I, I am referring to the thousandth location, but since there is a star, it tells me, give me the content or value at thousandth location, which is 99. I becomes 1. 1000 plus 1 into 4 is 1004. Value at address 1004 is 88. I becomes 2. 1000 plus 2 into 4 is 1008. Star value at address 1008 is 77. So I hope this has helped you understand how this is particular square bracket array subscript operator is transformed into a plus i while reading into an array and how it is a star a plus i when printing numbers from an array.